All right, calling up an example of Liquid Story Binder to uh, begin our explanation. On the desktop, we click Liquid Story Binder, and in no time, we have our splash screen, which is customizable. You can put whatever JPEG you want there. There's the uh, dark quasar icon that I put there. And, and just hardly any time, we can get to Liquid Story Binder. Now, when you first install and then uh, run Liquid Story Binder, it gives you this window as an example. What we're looking at here is the example of a builder. That's a function in uh, Liquid Story Binder. It's a, a database function. First of all, what's a builder and what's a listing? Okay, a listing we can see over here in library. Uh, I beg your pardon, not a listing, but a binder. The difference between a builder and a binder. Over here in library, we can see all the binders that we have created with Liquid Story Binder. Now what it is, is basically a folder on your hard drive. And normally that folder is located in My Documents. That's the default location for keeping Liquid Story Binder stuff. And a binder is basically a subfolder of that, and it's has, you know, all these different things within it, stored within that folder, right? Looking here, what we have is an example of a builder, and this is one of the primary functions uh, within a liquid story binder. Aha, okay. Now, this is a builder, and it's basically a database. Here we have the title, right? And the title is over here, reflected over here. Here we have the description and the description is reflected over here. Now here we have the word processing area, right? And if we were to click down to our next tab, this title, this description, and this word processing. So basically, you can enter the title and description of a document or a part of a document and then type it in here or paste it in or however, right? And uh, when this opens up, you can s you can see how a binder works or a builder works rather, and then you know you kind of know about it. There is also a different way. Here we click workspaces, okay, and there are all these different workspaces saved within this example binder, so that we can see how different things work, like a chapter example workspace. All right, and that workspace is just one window. Here's an example of a chapter. Okay, a chapter is basically just the word processing window by itself. Okay, uh, let's go back to a uh, builder example. And a builder, ex a builder is basically your database tabs over here and the uh, word processing window over here. Whereas a chapter is just basically this half of it. It's a single document kind of thing. You can learn about all the kinds of stuff that's in this program. By first of all, you can just click one of these exa workspace examples, and it'll pop up. And you can just you know kind of explore it, and see how it works. Or we can go over here to About, click it, click Help, right, and go in here and read the help files. For instance, file types. Yes, there are builders and backups and chapters and checklists, contrast dossiers, galleries, images. Journals, listing, mind maps, notes, outlines, planners, playlists for your own music, of course. Uh, recordings, you can make voice recordings. Resources, you can put different kind of files together. Sequences, storyboards, and timelines are quite similar, but with special differences. And of course, there are you know shortcuts, songs, and stuff like that. Now, these are just the primary file types within this program. Okay, but you can go to help and read all about it. All right, now what we want to start out by doing is taking the easy approach to the many various functions of Liquid Story Binder. All right, and what we're gonna, how we're going to do that is, okay, we're going to create a new binder. We go to Library, click, click Create New Binder. What shall we call this binder? Let's call this binder Example Binder. All right, it shows us that it's going to put it in the Documents folder. 
under my liquid story binder. You can add a little description here if we want to. Create new binder. Example binder has been created and added to the library. We click OK. And what happens? We get a blank window. <laughs> oh my gosh, we created a binder and nothing is there. Right, because everything is customizable in this program. It's, it's customizable about how we have this window set up. It's very cool. Here's the easy way to start. Okay, go to listings. Listings. Click create a new listing. All right, let's call this the primary file listing. Okay, we'll click OK and we get a window. We'll resize. Pop this up in the middle of the screen. Uh, maybe make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now what we're going to use this primary file listing window for is to keep track of specific files that we have going in this binder, in other words, in this folder. With all of our collection of different stuff, we're going to keep track of certain things. Now, you can have as many listing windows as you want. We're just going to call this one our primary file listing to keep track of our primary files. Now, <coughs> at this point, we should also go over here to Files and say, and click on View Files, right, and we get another window. And this window is a listing of all the files that we have here. Every one that we have will be listed in this window. Right? Of course, you can look at Im them individually. Here's all the files, and for instance, here would be our just our chapter files. But we don't have any chapters yet, so there are none there listed. We only have one file in our binder right now, and that is our primary file listings. Okay. So, <coughs> we're doing pretty good right now. Now, <coughs> what the next thing we want to do is be able to come back to this window right here with just two windows within it. We want to come back to this screen, you might say, with these two windows within it. So, we're going to click Workspaces, Save Workspace. And let's call this dot dot primary workspace. Oops. Workspace. Oh, there we go. Fine. Okay. We hit OK. Now we notice over here we have a new file in our all files listing. We have primary workspace. Okay. What does this mean? This means that anytime we open up a whole bunch of things or we close down everything, we can get to this primary workspace by just going here and clicking workspace. Everything gets taken away and these two windows come back up to where they were when we first started and you know how we have them right now. If you want to move them around and change them you can and then go back in here say save workspace click primary workspace and OK and it updates it to however you have, the, have it changed. Alright? So <laughs> what we've done created a new binder right? This is example binder. Then we went to uh, listings created a new listing and this is our primary file listing, right? And it came up over here. Then we went to Files, View Files, and the file listing window over here came up. It would show us all of our files, right? We put these two where we want them on the window, and then we saved our workspace. Save workspace to primary workspace, okay? That way, that anytime we want to, we can get back to this basic window right here, and it will show us our the files that we want to keep track of in specific and it will show us all the files that we have in our binder. All right. Now that's the end of part one. If you go to part two, we'll take it from here. Okay.